Hello guys, welcome to our own channel, Joyst Corporations. So today's video is going to be very special cause today I'm going to teach you how to make panel in C-sharp. So let's start our super video. Welcome to Joyce Corporations. <laughs> So first download the Visual Studio in any browser you like and open the first site and click on free download. After download, open Visual Studio. And click on new project. And select all these things. You can name it here. And bomb, congratulations. You successful created her first project for her panel. And you can see this is form one. And in this form, we will make our panel. And in this section, you can change the name color and many things. So now go to project and click on manage nugget properties. And search here, Guna. And install it. Now do the clean solution and rebuild solution as I did. Now we can see this is our toolbox where we can add many things to our panel. And you see we removed that form, one thing from our panel UI. And from here, we can change the color according to our need of color. And you can adjust all these settings as your need for your panel UI. And congratulations, you successful created a UI for your panel. You can adjust the length of our panel like this. Now we will add buttons for our panel. Now drag and drop the text box and adjust these settings as you need. Now you can see we have created a button for our panel. Now we will add another button for password. Just copy and paste it. Here our button is, just change the name of this button or settings you want. Congratulations, you have also created the buttons for your panel. Now search on the toolbox button to add login button and customize it as your need. And I see you're a very pro. You have also created the buttons for your login UI. Now search for panel, something special to show this is your panel. Open eye. And adjust it in your style or like me. and search for label to add text for your panel and change the name and settings and color according to you. And you have to create the panel by yourself. I will just guide you. Now we have also added the name too. Now we will add close button. Now search for control box and drag it.
You can see our close button also added. Now we will do a little programming so whenever we click on the cross button, it will close the panel. Just write the same to same, and I will provide it in my Discord server too. Done. Only this little word we have to write only to close the panel. Yo! I can't believe you have created this awesome UI, friend. Keep it up. We have created the UI. Now we will do some coding, so whenever a person will give his ID and pass and click on the login button, it will redirect the main menu of Aimbot. So first double click on the login button. And you will come to the programming page. Here we will add key out and all. Now simple go to my Discord server and there you will see keyauth.c is downloaded. After downloading, you have to add this to a project. So watch carefully and follow my steps. Now we have also added the keyauth.c is to open it. You can see there are too many errors, so don't worry, it is easy to fix. First, go to Manage Nugget Package and search Newtonsoft. Download it. Now search for Runtime. Download it. And boom, our errors are solved now. So now we will add a new form for our menu for aimbot and all. So follow my steps. Name or form here. And you can see our new form has been created. We will add aimbot and many things here. Let me add some things to our main menu. So you can see this will be our main menu. After the login page, main menu will appear. So in this video, we have learned about the UI and about the login page. In the next video, we will learn about the key out and many things. So subscribe our channel and join Discord. Thank you for watching the video.